<laughs> Thank you, horse. You're giving me a little bit of a boost of speed there. Suji, good news. That's the version that I'm playing. I, I mentioned that I think more than once, probably in both of the uh, parts that I have that I've done with this game so far. It was uh, there's a story about that. It is an Islamic chant, and I know what uh, I looked at the uh, I looked at what exactly it means. I can't remember off the top of my head. But the reason why they used that, uh, they didn't realize that it was because that uh, sound clip was a public domain sound file. I've heard it used in other N64 games too. The one, the other one that comes to mind is uh, "Shut Up, Navi." The one that comes to my, uh, mind is uh, "Cruising World." They use that same Islamic chant sound clip in uh, the Egypt level. I believe it's Egypt. It's either Egypt or Kenya. I forget. But it's that same one. Now the mix is different. So it matches the style of the song. But you can tell it's the same sound clip. Another thing uh, with this version too. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, some people find it offensive. Um... And they didn't. Re they actually didn't remove it because it was offensive. They removed it because uh, it broke the rule that Nintendo has about their games: is they don't contain any religious content in their games. That's a rule for Nintendo. That's that was an official statement too. That's what they said. They removed that sound clip because they don't have. They don't want to pay any religious homages to uh, to, to any religion in their games. If I can understand, I can understand. I don't think it's that big of a deal because there's plenty of games that do it as it is. I mean, the Assassin's Creed games, it's practically based off of that. Religion's like a big factor as well as the historical context. Um, but yeah, that's their rule. Uh, also, uh, the. On certain, there's certain symbols in this game. Um, the most notable being this symbol that's on the back of the mirror shield. In this version of the game, it actually has a symbol that very closely resembles the same symbol that's on the Pakistani flag, which I actually think is a very, it's a very cool, it's a very nice symbol. And I actually like the design of that better than uh, what they used, or what they used to replace it. Yes! <laughs> I remember. Oh, it's just it? Okay. So that explains why they removed that, too. It's actually, it's interesting because it's fitting. Uh, I kind of think the Gerudo are uh, loosely based off of that part of the country, that part of the world. Loosely. Actually, I can get out of his mouth. I forgot, there's a, uh, <clears throat> there's another uh, um, fairy back there. Really? I mean, I know there's those two examples, but... And I know the Gerudo are kind of... Best word I can come up with is influenced by that. But is there any more of the game that is? I've never really noticed that much. Besides what I've just named. It's very interesting that that's the case, because this is... 
the game developed... This is a game that was developed by a Japanese company. Not that that really matters too much. I mean, developers from other countries are, uh... ...use influences from different parts of the world enough as it is. ...and different parts of history. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That I actually knew. I just, uh, it didn't, uh... I just didn't remember it. But I remember... I remember knowing that that was the currency. No, this is making me think, too. Maybe there was, and I just never noticed, but I'm actually kind of surprised that there wasn't, like, such a huge outcry from Catholics for the Assassin's Creed games, because basically the... especially in Assassin's Creed 2, the... practically the whole <laughs> Catholic Church Are, ta are basically run by the Templars. Which are the main antagonists of the series. I mean, I was raised Catholic. I'm not Catholic anymore. I haven't been Catholic. considered myself Catholic for a long time. But, uh... Yeah. Uh... There pro maybe there was, and no one just ever really cared. And it's just interesting if you think about it. I love I love hearing about that type of stuff. I really don't know why, because sometimes it can really anger me. But I just find it so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Sort of. I mean, I don't know how they are in Assassin's Creed. I don't know if they're actually religious in any way. And I know Ezio is a descendant of Altair. Altair actually does sound uh, Islamic. Now that I'm now that I'm listening to the pronunciation of it, <laughs> the assassins from. Is the name used to refer to medieval Nazari? Oh. Oh, that's cool! I love it. I wonder why I love that series so much. God, they really did their homework. Although, Ez uh, Ezio, I believe, probably has some Persian... Since he's a descendant of Altair, he's he has Persian heritage. Even though, for the most part, he was... His whole family's from Italy. So got him. This dungeon, I remember being very difficult the first time that I played it. I can't... It's not so much that it's, uh... There's a... I think there was a lot of backtracking in this for the most part. Okay, you can't... Uh, you actually can only hurt those things with the boomerang. I don't think you can stun them, though, can you? Oh yeah, you can. But you can kill those with the uh, boomerang easy.
that's what get uh see you uh you can make a great game uh with keeping the story simple or simple keeping the story simple and just focusing a lot on gameplay but to truly make a game i feel uh something that's going to be remembered you have to you pay attention to detail that's what makes a game last that's what gets everybody to go from a game that you like to a game that you love and honestly i think that's one of the shining points of the zelda series a lot of the a lot of the details in all of the Zelda games are like, they're so subtle, but if you pick them out, it's just like, wow, I just got it. That's amazing. I can't believe that they went that far in depth. They paid, they paid attention. They worked on this to something that a lot of people aren't going to notice. But when you do get some of those people to notice, they start talking about it. They tell people about these and it just becomes this more... It just makes the game that much better. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like this dungeon. The fact that you have an escort. <laughs> what time is it? I think I should be able to beat this dungeon tonight. But I won't be able to become adult length tonight. <laughs> Strange holes on top of that stone. Ah, here we go. And you have to talk to her a second time. It's funny how she sits. She sits on your head, basically. <laughs> They not only hurt you, they push you back. God damn it. Yeah, no fire things in Jabu Jabu's belly, so it's actually a little bit better to use the uh, Deku sword here. Some people try to use the sword to kill them. It's way easier doing this. Just get them to pop out and hit them with your uh, slingshot. Now, if you're a speedrunner, you're going to use your uh, sword. Yeah, see? It's a pain in the ass to do that way. Whoops! I wanted to get that gold skull pillow. should happen. Oh! <laughs> 
I don't think that's time. I am, uh, actually a little impressed with myself. No, I sound like an asshat for saying that. But, uh, I'm surprised by how much I can remember how to do this. It seems like it's straightforward to me so far. I don't think there was anything worth it down there. Fairly easy to see those. I actually think big jellyfish drop in this room too. That actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> I know how you didn't, probably didn't see me jump, but my heart sank. Welcome back, Ad. I think I actually have to... let me see. Oh, you don't. Okay. There is one where you have to leave her there. God damn it. Oh yeah, you can do that too. I figured you probably could. Again, I just kind of find uh, doing it this way is easier. Especially since you're more likely to get slingshot uh, ammo back. I hate the red. <laughs> this is probably the map. Oh, it's the boomerang. It kind of... It sucks that... Because I really like this boomerang. It sucks that you don't get to use it for very long, and you don't get to use it as an, as a, as an adult. Actually, I think I kill those things. Boomerang. <laughs> Don't make me purge you. I oh, know, never mind. I was wrong. It's weird. I thought you could actually kill them that way. This one I might have to leave her on there. Yeah. This is what you have to use. Come right on. You make it come back down by getting near it. This might be either the map or the compass. It's actually, actually interesting. In these first three dungeons, they don't have the big key. Or the uh, the dungeon boss key. 
But they do it in all of the ones as adult Link. I'm wondering why they took the design decision. Because she gets pissy now. She still has a smile on her face, at least. <laughs> Alright, I remember this dungeon, because I spent a very long time in it. Oh shit, Navi. I know it, the red slimy thing is gone. Oh. Actually, if you just take the hit, it uh, kills them faster. I honestly don't know why this room is timed. Uh, well, I know why it's timed to make it uh, more challenging for you. There's no reason. There's no reason as to why it needs to be timed, other than gameplay reasons. Which is fine, it's just interesting that this of all rooms is. Here's the other one. Actually, get the map of the compass pretty fast. Yep, they die very easily to the uh, boomerang. Ow! Jesus! <laughs> Take four hits, so I remember the uh, I actually was uh, quite afraid of doing the boss. Of boss in this dungeon is actually very intimidating if you don't know what to especially if you don't know what to do or if it's your first time doing it because he's he's big he's not like the other two because he's big and it's really hard to describe how he looks so i don't think that you go back down i don't i'm not 100 percent sure might actually have to. Because I think that... Let me check the map, because I think that just goes to the beginning. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I, I think I do have to go down. Because I think I unlocked a room killing that last uh, tentacle. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, I think I did take a little bit of a break from this game when I played it, or when I did this dungeon. I think I actually have to come down. Okay. 
Okay, now I know what to do. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, but I think I can go this way, too. I don't know if this way's gonna be faster or not. Hey, uh, this is a nice little, uh, tidbit. Because you're inside a living thing. If you slash it, you can actually hear him complain. Kind of cruel if you think about it, but another nice attention to detail. Come here, you stupid there. Hello, random. How you doing? I got I got plenty of time to finish this dungeon. How exactly do I get? Oh, I'm probably gonna end up losing her. I'm not sure if I need her. But I should just in case. I think I do actually need her though. They're gonna have to go out and into this room and she'll end up back in here. So before I leave, I'm going to see which one I need to actually should be the one that's okay, she's not there already, is she? Holy shit! <laughs> How did she get up here? Okay, it's that one in the top left corner. <laughs> That's new to me. I thought I would have to enter and leave the room because uh, it's not a different loading point, but I guess not. Maybe it is, because all the enemies are back. Damn, that's, that surprised even me. I can get both of these without leaving this platform. Any boss time. The <laughs> 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 well, White Prince is Rudo. Excuse me, princess. How do you actually hit him? Just 
stun him with this. Don't fully remember how to do this boss. Let's see, this does nothing. Stuns him, but it doesn't stun him for long. Oh, wait. Uh, I wonder if he'll turn around if he do this. Uh, maybe... Maybe if I use a bomb? Oh, that's a way to do it. I think. Oh. This is how you do it. I'm not close enough, though. Yeah. I wasn't running fast enough when I was doing it this way. Oh, shit. Not the most efficient way to kill him, but that's the way that I re that's actually the way that I remember doing it initially. I haven't even played Mafia 2. I'm interested in playing it. Actually, I should put that on the wish list. I have so much stuff on my wish list right now. <laughs> Every time I think I've gone light, actually, I think I should kill that thing. Every time I think I uh, I'm light on my wish list of games that I want, there's ends up being like three or four new things that I end up wanting to get. There ain't more of those stupid things around here, is there? Yeah. It looks like it takes place uh, in a much later time, though. Because uh, of how the cars looked. Do they say what time period it takes place in? 
Oh, I need the uh, boxes. I only need the one though. After the Vietnam War, okay. That makes sense. Around the time of uh, Goodfellas, roughly. Well, ran a time in part of Goodfellas, anyway. I think that kind of, like, uh, took place starting from the late 1950s, and it ended in the 1980s. Late 1980s. It was Henry Hill's entire life, that he pretty much spanned. His entire career as a gangster. I love I love mob stories. I, I only kind of like Mafia 2 didn't get the best reviews, but I've actually been watching streams of it. It seems like I can still get into it despite its problems. Like it's a it's a GTA clone in it. I wouldn't really say clone. I played the Godfather games. They weren't that bad. Well, the, not the second one. I only played the first one actually. Now this entire fight, you practically use the boomerang for everything. You have to keep moving. Otherwise this thing is sting. I was actually a mistake. It worked in my favor. Ah, shit. This, you just have to throw it and get lucky. And you have to do it again. This time you have those six of them, though. He is very easy if you know what to do. But, yeah, that happens. He actually he just takes away less than I thought he does. And this part, you just have to wait. Wait until he gets back up. See, these boss fights, boss fights always have a pattern. Once you know what to do, and because I remember how to do this so easily, they're not that hard to figure out. The later bosses down the line, you have more chance to screw up even if you do know. These earlier ones are not too difficult, though. I like how she's pissed at you, even though it was beyond your control.
I don't care if you do end up being a hot fish lady when I'm an adult. <laughs> jellyfish are gross, period. I hate jellyfish. I kind of... It's worth, I've been to the Jersey Shore. I've been to where they had that massive flood of jellyfish uh, on the shoreline. Their, uh, their method of attacking you to defend themselves... It's really, really irritating because it's not like a it's not like a taser shock or anything like that. It's like a small shock and a constant burning irritation. I like how she's giving Link the uh Hi there. Hot stuff looking. <laughs> Gotta pee. <laughs> yeah, I heard that's a method of, uh. You can use an ointment, too. You know what it feels like? It feels like a, uh. It feels like a needle. It feels like someone's in it. It feels like someone's. injecting you, and they didn't stop injecting you. They're still pushing the, uh. They're still pushing the, uh, medicine in. That's what it feels like. Oh, I don't do drugs. I used to get allergy shots. I want to make that clear. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Nothing of what I say now is going to convince y'all otherwise, is it? I don't know. How much time? It I have time to turn into a, an adult, and I think I might end there. <laughs> Blaze Law. I, uh, nice name. El Poop Bunnies 420. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Actually, how much, uh... How many of the gold skulltales do I have? Twelve. I'm gonna go back to Kakariko Village first. Shut up, Navi. Um, oh god. 
Oh yeah. But it doesn't matter if I come in here during the day or at night. Hopefully I don't... I think the first one you get is the adult wallet. Or the, uh... Whatever they call it. I hope that's the case. Yes, it is. I think the next one might be the Rumble Pack. I'm actually playing on an emulator. I do have the end, a, a physical copy of the game, though. Uh, if I were to have a capture card, I would be doing it that way, but I don't. I'm actually playing the version of the game that I own, too. Cutscene time. <laughs> I am not using save states, though. Not that I really need them anyway. Thank you for following. I love that name. <laughs> I move bunnies. I thought that was an L actually, but... Uh, if I had a Wii. But I don't have a Wii either. I have an N64. I have a GameCube. And I actually have both versions of Ocarina of Time for those. But if you have a capture card, you can uh, stream it. But you need a capture card for the Wii U. They don't have a built-in technology, as far as I'm aware, like the Xbox One and the PS4 have. You never saw that, did you, Suji? He has big ears. I believe that this was the first game that Ganondorf actually had a human I don't think this was the first game that he, uh, was first referred to as Ganondorf. I think that was actually a link to the past. I think him having a human form at all has been a part of the series since at least a link to the past, but it could have been the first game. I'm not sure. Monkey Dwarf. Oh, now I got it. Okay, uh, I'll show you something that I actually did not know existed in this game. Not this guy. Yeah. 
already got that. I found out about this through uh, Hellfire commentaries on uh, YouTube. I actually uh, originally thought that was pronounced Gerudo, but it's actually uh, Gerudo, or Gerudo. Let me say that again. I thought that was actually pronounced Gerudo, King of Thieves, not Gerudo, King of Thieves. This is actually very dark for a game that's meant for kids, but it's very interesting. I never knew this existed. Again, that attention to detail makes a game that much more memorable. Actually, you know what? I forgot to get that damn ocarina. I missed it. <laughs> I gotta go back out. And he dies. I hope it is. Actually kind of interested in playing uh, Mafia 2 now. I don't think I would get to it anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, people really do not like me. Just tolerate me. You call me fucker. Oh, Navi, I'm down. Still don't have the Song of Storms yet. Yeah, so it wouldn't be worth it going to those turtles. Or, not turtles, uh, frogs. Actually, why do I look like... Why do I look so foggy? Fault of the emulator, I guess. Or the ROM. Yeah, I look really weird. I look foggy. 
Don't look foggy here, though. It actually doesn't look, uh, well, it might look bad. It actually does look bad in stream. But, uh... Since the, uh, uh, since the OBS screen is smaller, they don't look as bad. They're not meant to be in that resolution. This was the first time that the Temple of Time was introduced. Makes sense, though. Uh, it was... I think the Temple of Time was in this, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker. I don't know if it's in Skyward Sword because I, uh, I never played that. <clears throat> I've never actually beaten Twilight Princess, actually. I watched a playthrough of it, though, so I know what happens. Legendary Blade. Not the first time the Master Sword has been introduced, though. First time that happens. Now, in the uh, original Legend of Zelda, it wasn't the Master Sword. It was just called the Magical Sword. The final sword that you got. Zelda 2 had more RPG elements to it, so you upgraded your sword. You upgraded your damage rather than getting your sword. A Link to the Past was the first time the Master Sword was ever introduced in the series. hearing that due to time constraints they cut it makes sense I mean like all video games they kind of cut content for time concerns I actually believe there was supposed to be a temple of time like the temple of time was supposed to be an actual dungeon that you do like a whole level worth and a boss at the end so, it does come off as odd that after you just did three dungeons, you automatically get a medallion. If you think you would have to do something besides just pull the Master Sword from the stone in order to actually, uh... get that medallion. Because the Temple of Time in Twilight Princess is an actual dungeon. This is not the first time that Link has been blonde as well. I actually think that he was blonde first in A Link to the Past. Because I had I remember in the instruction booklet. The instruction booklet was colored. And Link's hair was blonde in that. But actually the first two games, his hair was actually brown. 
You can't tell in the games themselves, but, uh... I don't know about the first game. But in the instruction booklet, he had brown hair. What's also interesting is you can actually get to this point without ever getting the Hillian Shield. I mean, it's incredibly hard, but if for some reason you want to do it, or uh, like say you're speedrunning it, you skip a bunch of stuff. You can actually go into all of this, go into the world as an adult, and not have a shield. It, the way people break this game is incredible. They found so many ways to break this game. And sequence break it. What's funny is I was watching a speedrun race of this on GDQ. I was, I was talking about that earlier, but to go into more detail about it, Three people playing, racing each other were playing three different versions of the game. The, the version that I'm playing, which is the initial version that was released, uh, version 1.01, I think it's called, that has all of the fire, that has the original Fire Temple music and the, the different symbols on the blocks and the mirror shield, it's actually the easiest one to break. It has the fastest sequence breaks. But the, uh, the speedrunner ended up not being able to uh, beat the other two because he royally screwed up at one point. <laughs> Who needs to block all these scruffs? <laughs> Real men get their heads bashed in. I find it interesting that they gave Adult Link an earring. Not even a stud, they gave him a loop earring. I mean, it looks good on him. I mean, it look, he looks like an elf. He has the pointy ears. He's a Hillian, that's how Hillians are. And it's not Zelda. <laughs> it's Zelda. It actually tipped me off that that was Zelda before I even knew about it. Because in the instruction booklet, her eye is pink. Her eye is pink, she has a very feminine face in the, uh, in the concept art for her. So, they didn't actually hide it very well. They hid it well in the, in the game, they didn't hide it very well in the art, though. Surprised no one's done. But maybe it's hard to mod Dark Souls. Surprised no one's done a Zelda mod for that. Or maybe no one really cares to do it. Uh, the Dark Souls community I heard is pretty fucking. Uh, uh, they're not much better than the WoW community, let's say. And really, the WoW community is not bad, it just depends on who you go to. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh... This is a good stopping point. Alright, I'm all done for the night. Thank you all for coming, it was nice to see a new f 